Are mermaids real? No, right? Well, that's what you may assume, and while it may be the safe bet, it's also boring and potentially not the correct one. When we trawl through accounts by sailors of the past, there's simply way too many reported sightings of so-called mermaids for anyone to be 100% sure that they've never existed. So today, we'll look at some modern evidence and explore the possibilities together. These are 20 mermaid sightings you won't believe are real. Number 20. Mermaid Off the Coast of Greenland Now, full disclosure, mermaids are not real. Therefore, you definitely won't believe that any of these sightings are real, because they are not. But anyways, let's get on with the utter nonsense, shall we? There are a lot of things that are lurking in the ocean off the coast of Greenland. But are there mermaids? Well, I don't know about you. But this video, which appears to be looped over and over and over again, is hardly any kind of definitive proof. It alleges to show two submariners in a mini submarine in the Greenland Sea when they see an underwater creature that they say was a mermaid. Well, this surely doesn't look like any mermaid I've ever seen before. In fact, if this looks like anything at all, then it is, in fact, an alien. And why wouldn't there be aliens in the sea? This deserves a discussion, I think, so go ahead and do that down below. But before we leave these creepy waters, there are actually cool creatures that live here that are real and that are not part of some film student's nonsense project, like the Greenland shark. Slow-moving Greenland sharks are rarely captured on film. They prefer the cold, deep waters of the North Atlantic and Arctic region, and they can reach lengths of up to 24 feet, weighing as much as 3,100 pounds. So perhaps one of the most incredible things about this shark is how long that they can live. They have the longest lifespan of any vertebrate and can live for between 300 and 500 years. A study of the species in 2016 discovered a shark that had been born between 1504 and 1744, and this is just mind-blowing. A shark that may have been born when Michelangelo was painting the Sistine Chapel is still alive and swimming today. So when we have real-life wonders in the ocean, we really don't need to spend all our time looking for myths now, do we? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. It was an ordinary day for Martin and Sarah walking along the beach in the hours of one Saturday morning, hoping to enjoy a pleasant stroll together. But that plan would be disrupted when they stumbled upon something that had been ripped up from the ocean and tossed to the shore. Something they couldn't comprehend. You can see for yourself in this photo. Now, am I crazy or is that the deceased corpse of a mermaid? It's certainly what it looks like and it's what they thought as well. There are a billion more rational explanations that are possible. An abandoned movie prop, a stupid prank by teenagers, but the possibility this thing confirms the existence of mermaids is far too tantalizing to be ignored. The big question becomes, if it is real, what actually happened to that mermaid? Was it the Kraken or a Megalodon, perhaps? I dread to think. As always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below by using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. Mermaid Caught in South Africa Now we'll dive into some more silliness and fairly determined efforts to go viral on the old internet. This time, we're in South Africa, but then again, there are also reports that this took place in Kenya. Those countries are very much at different ends of the African continent, so who could possibly say? But you know that when a video doesn't even know where it came from, it's definitely extremely reliable and trustworthy. The footage appears to show a half-human, half-fish creature, you know, like a mermaid. <laughs> of course, it could be a whole human stuffed into a fish. Who knows? There's always that possibility. But then again, I wasn't there, so how could I possibly know anything at all? The authorities have allegedly said that the video is a fake, and whether these authorities are South African or Kenyan or fake themselves, who knows? Don't you just love the internet? What a fantastic resource it is for us all. Number 18. Mermaid Sighting in Israel Next up, we have an alleged mermaid in Israel. This is the story of a bunch of apparent mermaid sightings in the town of 
Kirat Yam back in 2022, and these glimpses of a so-called real-life mermaid have created such a stir that hundreds of extra tourists have been flocking to the Israeli town in hopes of seeing the mythical creature for themselves. Unlike some other local authorities with crazy sightings, the government has really leaned into the story. Well, I mean, there is a buck to be made in a bit of a boost of tourism now, isn't there? So why not? They've actually offered a $1 million reward to the first person who can successfully photograph the creature. And until that happens, we'll just have to make do with the description that many witnesses have put forward. They've suggested that the mermaid is, duh, a cross between a fish and a young girl. It only appears at sunset and then performs a couple of tricks for people who are watching and then she disappears again. It's intriguing, I'm sure. Number 17. Man Finds Dead Mermaid on Beach Here we have an alleged discovery of a mermaid corpse on a beach in Norfolk in the UK. For starters, this is not really the usual depiction of a mermaid. It's especially gnarly and unpleasant and really not at all suitable for any person of a sensitive disposition, especially a mermaid fan. So I hope you've closed your eyes if that is you. Otherwise, we'll examine this gross discovery a bit further. Right then, <laughs> of course. This is definitely and totally for real, and there's nothing in the least that is any bit suspect about any of it for sure. Apart from the fact that this is not only super fake, it's also super creepy. I mean, who in their right mind actually goes about constructing a corpse like this one? And then how do you really do it? What parts is this made from? It's like a dead, desiccated human body with a shriveled up old fishtail now, isn't it? That's all not very magical at all. This beach find was uploaded by some guy on Facebook along with the caption, Today at Great Yarmouth, we found what looks like a dead mermaid washed up on the beach. Well, of course you did. It's definitely a genuine bona fide mermaid body and absolutely not in any way related to his own interests. His Facebook profile, literally states that he is a keen modeler of creepy figures and he's an active member of the Horror and Halloween DIY Facebook group. Hmm, seems like we're going to need a call into Columbo if we're ever going to get to the bottom of this mystery. Now, I don't know about you, but I think I prefer my mermaids to stay in the water and in mythology rather than laying all crispy and dead on the beach like this one. Number 16. Mummified Mermaid Mystery now, this may be a mummified mermaid, but the story that goes with it is even more gross than you would expect. According to ancient Japanese legend, if a person tastes the flesh of a mermaid, they will be granted immortality. This legend is based on a story which is retold across many different parts of Japan, where a woman accidentally ate a little bit of mermaid. I mean, how one does this? is not actually retold in the story and made clear, and then she lived for 800 years. Now, whether this is a blessing or a curse is probably rather subjective. I mean, would you eat a mermaid-based snackette if it guaranteed you a long life? Or would you rather skip the seafood slash cannibalism aspect of the technique? Tell me your thoughts down below. Anyways, here we have the so-called mermaid mummy that according to a letter that was found alongside it had been caught in a fishing net in the waters off of Kochi Prefecture. The story goes that it was simply sold at a market as an unusual fish, but one family saw that it was a mermaid and purchased it, keeping it as their treasure. Because of their apparent immortality-giving properties, mermaids are worshipped by some in Japan, or at least they have been in history, and the story of this particularly dried-up old creature places the mermaid's capture somewhere between 1736 and 1941. But all of this is based on writings that date from the early 20th century, and well, frankly, mermaids are not real, so, you know. Number 15. Mermaid Sightings in the Philippines Right then, of course, because this is totally for real and there's nothing in the least a bit suspect about any of it. For sure! Here we are in the Philippines, on the island of General Santos City, known as Jensan by most, and apparently they've been extra busy there spotting mermaids. What do you know? This area is rich in diverse marine life, and there are many different species in these waters, which includes dolphins, marlin, tuna, rays, sea turtles, and more. It's packed with marine wildlife, so perhaps 
it is a mermaid that people keep seeing, but then again, perhaps it's any one of the many, many, many other sea animals that make these waters their home. We have a three second long snippet of footage in which we see a mermaidish shape in the water. It surfaces for a fraction of a second and then dives back beneath the waves. This we are told to believe is the evidence of mermaids that we have all been waiting for all of our lives. Plenty of people are prepared to say that they too have seen the mermaid there, but for some reason, there's no more footage that's available for anyone to watch. That's kind of weird. I mean, I don't know. If there really were mermaids all over the place like this, wouldn't we have tons of videos of them? I mean, whales and other big sea creatures are relatively shy, but people still seem to film them all of the time. What do I know? I live about a thousand miles away from any ocean. Number 14. Mermaid on Lake Titicaca Now I'm sorry to keep on pooping on the mermaid party, but we're really scraping the bottom of the proverbial barrel for evidence here now, aren't we? I want to believe as much as the next person, but so far we've had a few vague accounts, a couple of weird assembled body parts, and a three second video clip which shows almost nothing at all. So you know, I kinda remain skeptical. This next alleged sighting happened not in the ocean, but on a lake. Lake Titicaca is a landlocked freshwater lake in the Andes that straddles to border of Peru and Bolivia. It is in the region that is full of myths and legends and superstitions and stories, so it should come as no surprise that the idea of a mermaid in that particular body of water would have some extra stuff going on. According to the local legend, Lake Titicaca was said to be the home of a mermaid who granted wishes to children. However, the adults in the village began pressuring the children to ask the mermaid for gold and silver. Surprisingly, the mermaid fulfilled all of these materialistic wishes, prompting the villagers to devise a plan to capture her. Their trap succeeded in luring the mermaid out of the water, where her true nature resided. They confronted her, demanding to know the source of her abundant wealth. As soon as the mermaid left her watery domain, her transformation began. Her mermaid form gradually shifted, revealing a true identity as a regular woman, ultimately causing the enchanting siren of Lake Titicaca to vanish forever. So the idea that there's a mermaid in the lake again has caused some consternation amongst locals. But what do you think about all this mermaid mythology? Why do so many cultures have stories about people fish? And if she was granting all of their dreams and desires, why did they want to take her away from that? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments below. Number 13. Real Mermaid Caught by Fisherman Well, this particular so-called mermaid is not exactly the sort of Disney-fied aerial of many of our imaginations. The creature does not have flowing hair and a shell bikini. It's actually super gross. So what exactly are we looking at? It appears to be a creature with a massive fish head, a flabby huge bellied quadruple boob chest, and a big gross fish tail. It was allegedly found on an Indian beach by fishermen, and the entire thing is definitely intensely creepy, but the worst thing is the fact that the creature's hands are tied behind its back as if it had been kidnapped. Whatever it may be, you know, an art installation, a general hoax, a creepy prank, or an actual mer person. It is definitely horrible. So let's just stop looking at it now, shall we? Number 12. Mermaids on drone camera footage. Now, drone cameras have given us some truly extraordinary views of the world. We can see now inside of places that were previously impossible. And we can take amazing bird's eye views of the world. And it is a really beautiful planet, isn't it? However, the drone camera, as well as causing a kerfuffle with your neighbors and no fly zones, has also given rise to plenty of videos of stuff that people have been speculating wildly over on the old YouTubes. Like this one. This has a massive and clear label on it that says that it's footage of dolphins swimming in a large group. But guess what? Yes, there are always people who want to argue the heck out of everything and make regular normal stuff into weird or spooky things instead. These are dolphins, but some people have decided that they're mermaids and won't hear anything otherwise. The trouble is that they have been out there telling all the internet-y people their same silly old theories, and then, you know how that goes, the internet gets clogged up with nonsense. Shall we look at some more? Well, let's go on then. Number 11. Fishermen Document Strange Catch 
Ooh, this is a bit spooky, and also kind of super janky, but let's enjoy it for the effort to make it at least a little bit scary, shall we? Here we are on a fishing boat, on a seemingly rather choppy sea, and for some reason, this person is filming the hauling in of a net. At the point that they begin rolling, there is clearly nothing obvious to film. It all seems kind of regular, if even a little unsteady. Well, a lot unsteady. That's the other fishy thing about the footage. Are they actually staggering about to this extent? Because if so, then why the filming? Are they trying out for a new season of Deadliest Catch? Anyways, as they move the camera towards the fishermen hauling in the net, they zoom in on the contents, when suddenly a spooky webbed hand appears to push against the net and they drop it back into the sea. Seemingly startled, the fishermen then peer over the side of the boat, and that is it. So what, in your expert opinion, was all that about? Was it actually a scary movie or a documentary? Let's figure it out together down below. Number 10. Real Mermaid in the Ocean Well, well, what do we have here? Yes, it's another extremely janky video which purports to have captured a so-called real-life mermaid. This one is an especially ungainly sort of creature. It's neither the Disney-fied beauty that we would hope for, nor the super freaky fish head version that we have also seen today. This particular alleged mermaid seems to be making a meal out of climbing out of the water onto some sort of object that is in the middle of the water and clearly near the coast of somewhere. Funnily enough, however, the details that surround the video are super sketchy. Huh, I wonder why. What do you think about all the silliness? Is this really a mermaid or just a clumsy attempt at a mermaid hoax, which is pretty disgusting to be honest? Let's get stuck in a proper discussion about it. I want to know all of your thoughts on the subject, and really anything else. Number 9. Mermaid in Nicaragua Here we are at the Tuscapa Lagoon Natural Reserve in Nicaragua. This place is formed from volcanic activity that occurred over 10,000 years ago. This reserve is a protected place of national significance, and it is managed by the Ministry of the Environment and Natural Resources in Nicaragua. It's known to be a popular tourist attraction and has many restaurants and shops. The lagoon itself has been a treasure trove for a multitude of archaeological discoveries of pre-Columbian times, and it is relatively a busy place. So one may imagine that if stuff like this crazy video were actually going on there, there would probably be a whole tour and gift shop to make the most out of it. Here we have yet another intensely creepy and distinctly not-so-Disney alleged mermaid sighting. And again, this mermaid seems to be finding its own tail to be rather cumbersome and difficult to manage. Which is kind of strange when you think about it. But the people in the video are seemingly shocked by what they've witnessed, and they managed to call this camera-wielding individual over to capture the moment. How fortunate was that? Perhaps a little bit too fortunate, but who could say? Number 8. Mermaid in Mallorca Next up, we have a video that was allegedly filmed by a bunch of German tourists on a boat in Mallorca, which is a Spanish island whose name I probably mispronounced. What about this one then? Isn't it marvelous? We have some very shaky and very far away footage of a blue shape on a rock. I would say that was absolutely the definitive proof that we've all been waiting for, wouldn't you? This blurry blue mermaidish shape is neither especially compelling nor especially beautiful, but it is sitting on a rock in the sea, which is what we are led to believe that mermaids are wont to do. So is this blue blob a mermaid? Is it just a big old fish? Or is it your typical regular hoax, digital or traditional? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Number 7. Mermaids in Indonesia To begin with, this looks like a mermaid tail there in the shallow water, but it doesn't take very long to see that it's actually the sad and dead body of a manatee, most definitely not a mermaid. Manatees, often referred to as the gentle giants of the sea, are fascinating marine mammals that capture the hearts of nature enthusiasts worldwide. Belonging to the Sirenia order, manatees are herbivores, creatures that are primarily found in shallow and slow-moving waters like rivers, estuaries, and coastal areas. They can be found in various regions across the globe, which includes the waters of the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, the Amazon River, and West Africa. These magnificent creatures, 
Well, they're known for their gentle demeanor, slow movements, and captivating presence. With their round bodies, flippers, and distinctive paddle-shaped tails, manatees have a distinct appearance that sets them apart from any other marine species. Adults can reach a length of up to 13 feet and weigh around 1,500 to 3,500 pounds, and that makes them the largest herbivorous marine mammals in the world. Manatees are herbivores who feed primarily on aquatic vegetation, which includes seagrass and freshwater plants, and due to their peaceful nature and slow swimming speed, they become quite vulnerable to collisions with boats and other watercraft, which pose a significant threat to their survival. Conservation efforts and protective measures become crucial in preserving the manatee population, and in many regions, they're listed as endangered or even vulnerable. Organizations and governments work tirelessly to establish protected areas, enforce speed limits in manatee habitats, and educate the public about the importance of preserving these unique creatures. Number 6. Mermaid in Mexico this next one would be captured in Mexico in the mysterious and slightly spooky waters of a cenote. Cenotes are natural sinkholes found in limestone regions, particularly in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. These awe-inspiring formations contain freshwater pools and underground cave systems, attracting divers and tourists alike. Cenotes play a vital role in Mayan culture and are the essential source of water in the region. So, if a mermaid is going to show up anywhere, then a cenote in a mystical and ancient place like this is as likely of a spot as anywhere else. So, we're watching a lot of underwater footage. It's kind of dark and shadowy. You know, perfect time for a mermaid to swim by. And fortunately for us, that's exactly what happens. Finally, this is an aerial sort of mermaid, complete with flowing hair and a pretty tail and all of the mermaidy goodness that we've hoped for. Like this one. This one may be real. At least it won't give us nightmares. Number 5. Mermaid Caught on Camera at this point, I'm beginning to understand that a lot of mermaids are kind of gross and extra fishy, rather than the sort of mermaids that we've been enjoying in cartoons and as adornments on t-shirts and such. This is a so-called mermaid that's been captured on film, and it's everything that a nightmare might entail. It's a gross salmon pink color overall, having a slimy looking scaly weirdness, a skinny creepster amount of arms, and totally messed up head. This is not the little mermaid, it's a big bad mermaid that's going to thrash about wildly in the most unnatural and unpleasant way, creeping us all out and giving us bad dreams. Number 4. Fisherman has footage of sirens. This fisherman is captured an eerie and fascinating sound whilst on deck during the night. The noises, like siren calls, are mysterious and compelling. But are they sirens or mermaids? Sirens are mythical creatures from ancient folklore, captivating sailors with their mesmerizing songs and alluring beauty. Often depicted as half woman, half bird, or half woman, half fish, sirens reside on rocky shores or islands, luring unsuspecting sailors to their doom with all of their haunting melodies. Their irresistible songs would lead ships astray, crashing them onto treacherous rocks, leading to tragic shipwrecks. In Greek mythology, Odysseus encountered sirens during his journey home, and he had his crew plug their ears with wax to resist their seductive calls. Sirens represent the duality of allure and danger, embodying the power of temptation and the perils of succumbing to it. It turns out that these extraordinary sounds are made by dolphins calling to each other at night. It's remarkable, but it's apparently what these sounds are. I just wonder if that's what ancient sailors heard in all of those tales of siren calls. Number 3. Mermaid Caught on Video Uh-oh, here's another one for the old nightmare bank. This time we seem to have caught a mermaid-like figure perched on a rock looking pensive. But I don't know, it kind of looks more like an alien. Se dejó ver a plena luz del día. Finally, an alien creature, a water-loving, fish-tailed, bug-eyed alien creature from outer space. Ah, we can all rest easy now, because I would rather not think of mermaids as these gnarly, freaky monsters with wobbly bits and scaly heads and fish faces. I mean, how about you? Number 2. Fishermen in Belize See Mermaid 
Fish are an important industry in Belize. This reporter decided to go talk with some of these fishermen about their more unusual catches. These fishermen claim that they have seen real-life bona fide mermaids while out at sea, and they do claim, however, that when they go to film the creatures, well, as we as we see the thing and we pull out, we phone and gaga, we pull out the bucket. In order, you know, to prove their existence to others, their phone batteries are always dead. Kinda, sorta, sounds like some kind of mystical energy at work here, doesn't it? They say that it was not easy to explain what they saw, that it was unexplainable, that it was not human but also not a fish. And then again, they say that they also thought it might have been seaweed. So it's really hard to say exactly what they did see. Such is life, really, and perhaps this is in fact the enduring appeal of these mythical creatures. When we see things that are caught on tape, it's actually harder to believe that they may exist than when a group of fishermen think that they've seen something weird. It's funny how it goes, but I prefer a vague story with no camera footage to the freaky weird fish monsters that we've been subjected to today. Give me a big old fish story any day of the week. Number 1. Mermaid Skeleton on the Beach in the UK a peculiar discovery would be made on a beach in Liverpool, UK, where a family stumbled upon what appeared to be a skeleton resembling that of a mermaid. The accompanying images quickly gained widespread attention on social media, because of course they did. What else would it do? According to a report by the Daily Mail, you know, that great bastion of honesty and journalistic integrity, Christy Jones, a UK resident, visited the beach with her family for a picnic. And while enjoying their time near the sea, a family member made an unusual finding, a skeleton that closely resembled that of a mermaid. Upon closer inspection, they would observe that the upper portion resembled a human, while the lower part possessed a fish-like tail. However, as these viral images spread, questions would emerge regarding the existence of mermaids. Some people began to wonder if they were merely mythical creatures from stories, or if they could possibly be real. And for Christie, the true nature of the mermaid skeleton remains a mystery. During an interview with the Liverpool ECHO, Christie stated that the authorities had taken custody of the skeleton and initiated an investigation. Nevertheless, officials have yet to determine the true identity of the find. Until the investigation can be concluded, it seems that they're unwilling to confirm the skeleton as being that of a mermaid. Well, naturally. I mean, why would they confirm something like that that's utter piffle? Anyways, lambast the heck out of me for my non-belief in the comments below, because you know you want to. Well, that was a mixed bag of nightmares and mythical wonders, now wasn't it? What do you think of all these fishy tales? And do you still believe in mermaids? Go on and have a go at me in the comments down below, because it will make you feel better. Be sure to check out the other cool stuff that's showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.